So here we are on day 31, about 10 days after swapping from the original BioCube that had the power compacts. Uh, that's what's running now. Everything seems to be going well. I've got uh, diatoms, hair algae, nitrates have dropped to 5. I've actually been tracking them and uh, they were as high as 20, 10, now they're sitting at 5. So that's all good. I've got two clowns in there as you can see. I've got five frags. Power head on a wave maker. It's set up on a 30 second interval. Uh, what I'm doing is 2 p.m. to 10 p.m. I've got the actinics on. Uh, 4 p.m. to 9 p.m. I've got the daylights on. From 8 a.m. to 9 p.m. I'm running the wave maker. I have it shut off at night. Probably going to figure out a way to do um, LED lights for a fugium. But let's take a look. Purple Death, Oops. Frags I don't know, Frags I don't know, I've got five trochus, uh, snails in there as of yesterday, who are really going through, so this rock here was pretty well covered in the hair algae and it's, it's gone, so I've got five of these in there, probably enough, I think there's, you do, uh, should be one for every two or three gallons so five is probably going to be adequate for 15 or for the 20 gallons this tank holds even though it's rated as a 29 in the past I've run a lot of hermit crabs I think these are less susceptible but you know the uh, the astria clout, uh, snails always seem to be upside down and empty because the hermits would take their, their shells so don't know if I'm going to do that again or not Good color. This frag um, has filled out a lot. It's not very big. It looks like it's filled out, starting to hopefully grow. Pallies are, you know, pretty difficult to keep to, to kill. So uh, those are some of the first ones. The other frags that are in here were more. Actually, there's a discount rack at a place that I go. They weren't very expensive. Hopefully, they're going to be okay. That one in particular had some die-off initially. It seems to have stabilized. Nothing in the last couple days. This one um, looks good. It really looks good. Powerhead, 30-second interval. I'm shooting this out of pixel. It's okay, but certainly not digital SLR. So for right now, oh, the fire just kicked back on. Gonna kind of let this stabilize, let the clowns do their things, poop, uh, let the tank catch up. I. I've been doing a five gallon water change every weekend. That's a little bit of an overkill. The tank was new. I mean, it's a 22 gallon tank, so I was essentially changing 100% of the water every 30 days. Uh, I'm going to back it off and do a water change every other weekend. Keep monitoring the parameters, make sure everything's stable. So it's going well. It's just part of that nasty diatoms, which. Uh, Diatoms are there. I'm sure the snails are eating them because I know these snails like diatoms and they like to graze on algae. They're not necessarily like a Mexican turbo that you know loves algae. Um, the water that I use, the TDS is zero. I'm using Instant Ocean. So I know there's die off on these rocks because these were most of these rocks I'd had previously and you know I just took them out when I was sitting in a bucket for a year. So I've got the die off on those. There shouldn't be anything being introduced from the, the water. Um, but there is a little bit on the power head, which, you know, if you get it on the rocks, that tells me that it's actually nutrients in the rocks that the, uh, the algae is feeding on. If it's elsewhere in the tank, that tells me it could be in the water column, right, from uh, something in the RO. I did fill this tank with RO from a different source that probably wasn't very clean. 
it was RODI, but you know, based on the source, I don't know. So now I'm actually going to a local fish store, specializes in high-end coral, and they they guarantee the water to be zero. I actually have a digital TDS meter. I tested it. It is zero. So um, I'm sure this uh, algae will start to die off in the next week or two on its own. Uh, when I had the, you know, for the first three weeks the tank was up, I didn't have anything in it, so I had no lights on, and it was clean. So, uh, yeah, if it doesn't go away, I might do a three-day lights out. But I've had this green algae before, the exact same stuff. I can't remember the name of the algae that's concerning I I think it's bryopsis that you have to you know treat it with magnesium looks the same but it's not so anyway that is my 30 day update I think I said 10 days since I went to these other lights which are the Chinese black box 165 watt light so I'll check back in in a week